Hi, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the Apollo Lunar Excursion Visor Assembly. This is the moon helmet that the astronauts wore on the moon. And these two are my replicas that I just finished like two weeks ago. And uh, these were really cool. Um, you know, the, the, the bubble helmet that the astronauts wore uh, over their heads at launch, uh, that's what kept the pressure um, in the suit. But um, these were worn over that bubble helmet. And this was just for extra protection against the elements that they would encounter on the moon. And so there's this additional clear visor that was called the protective visor um, that was made of polycarbonate. And this was um, just to protect the bubble helmet from getting scratched and that sort of thing. Or, you know, they were banging on rocks with hammers and stuff like that. So, and then in front of that, these visors all slide in and out of each other was the gold visor that everybody's familiar with. And that was called the solar visor. And that was actually real 24 karat gold that was metalized on the visor. So this is a real like thin layer of gold on there that would help to, to block out the, you know, the sun because there was no atmosphere on the moon so the radiation was very intense. After that they had these additional sunshades that came down on the sides. There was this uh, thermal cover that went over the entire thing which was made out of beta cloth and, and various foils and, and other things. And that was more or less what was on the helmet from Apollo 11 and 12. Starting with Apollo 13, they added this additional sunshade that would pull down over the front uh, and it had like a, a little window where you could, you could really lower this thing pretty low. So I made these and took them to Space Fest uh, in Arizona a couple weeks ago and I actually got them signed. This one was signed by Gene Cernan, who was the last man to walk on the moon. Uh, Apollo 17, it was a very cool, it was a very cool moment to see, you know, him like handling it, you know, knowing that he had held a real one and everything. So I think that was this one, the story behind this one, I made two of these and this is more or less the same, except you'll notice it has these um, blue anchors. And this was very specifically Jim Lovell's Apollo 13 moon helmet. So he never walked on the moon, so he didn't get to use this helmet, um, but he was like a die-hard Navy man and he put uh, these emblems on his helmet. The real one's in a museum now in Chicago, uh, but I actually got, uh, oh, not that, that's the second thing, I got Jim Lovell to sign this as well. Um, and Fred Hayes, who was the lunar module pilot, was also there and he signed it and uh, it was very cool. So I, just a, a little bit about my, the replica and how I did this. And I think in a future video, I'll have to make more of these and, and I'll, I'll make one on camera, but it's all vacuformed. Uh, one, I did one, this one's ABS and this one's styrene. Uh, and this is PETG, which is a much softer plastic to vacuform. I made a buck originally out of cardboard and then and I made a, a casting in a heat resistant resin and uh, I vacuum formed it in two halves and the cloth cover was just a custom sewn nylon piece um, that I patterned out by laying paper, kind of the way I, I did the Star Trek costume and that sort of thing. It's pretty much the same process. Oh, and also this uh, reflective gold on here. I used this uh, special metallic uh, paint. It's called All Clad 2. Um, and this is their mirror gold for Lexan. I vacuum formed two thin visors that are like 040 thickness, and I would sp I sprayed the paint on the top visor on the inside, and then I would sandwich the second visor in between to protect the back, hmm. so the paint doesn't scrape off. Apollo Lunar Excursion Visor Assemblies signed by actual astronauts. Yeah. So uh, if you like this video. Please remember to subscribe.